Hey guys, so we want to do our first introduction video about the play that we're going to run in our first indoor session. The first indoor session is going to be dedicated to just offensive football. Everybody's going to get an offensive position. Even our guys on defense who traditionally not played offense, you're going to play some offense for this session. We'll swap and do the same thing for our next session where everybody on offense plays some defense. But this video is to take probably 10 minutes and introduce you to our first base play that we do with our offense, East 88 Reach. Now, don't worry too much about the numerology in here. I'm not going to go through that right now. But what I do want to go through is the positions, where we're going to line up, and what we're trying to do on this play. Keep in mind, for my veterans who ran this play probably 100 times last year, we are making two, three potential changes to it that I want you to make sure you get with this video. So first, let's just make sure we go through the positions so anybody who's a linebacker or a DB knows the position they're going to be playing when I call it out. Circle with the X. That's our center. Jacob Langlos, probably somebody else. To the right, we're going to put our strong guard, Alex, and somebody else. Our strong tackle, Connor, and somebody else. Our tight end, Braden, and somebody else. Our wing back, who? Maybe a couple of different people right now. I'm not sure. Our quarterback, four yards back. This will be Mason. And somebody else. And our tailback, offset to the right. That's going to be Josh and most definitely somebody else. And then we've got our open guard, which right now could be a couple of different people. Our open tackle, which right now could be a couple of different people. Here's what we're going to do a little differently, at least for the spring. Our jet back, who's going to be a couple of different people. Specifically, we are going to be trying Kaz here. We're going to have him line up like a wing to the open side. Now, our wideouts, 12 yards away, we have a receiver. Um, probably going to be Logan and a couple of other people. And a slot. Could be a couple of different people. We're going to see how this works out. On 88 reach, here is what we're trying to do. We are trying to get the ball to our jet back and run fast to the right side of the play. Here is basically what everybody does. Our tight end and wing back. This will be explained in more detail in a later video, but you are either blocking a man to your inside or you are going to double team. More likely than not, you're going to be double teaming. Our strong tackle, you are going to take a reach step to the right and try to work up to a linebacker. Our strong guard, you are going to run the circle to the right coming up into the alley. Tailback, you are going to kick out the first player from the sideline in, probably a cornerback. Center, snap the ball. If you can snap the ball and step to this gap, even better. But all we need you to be able to do is snap that ball. Open guard and open tackle, you're going to take a reach step to the right, and get up to the next level. You won't block anybody on you. Now, over here, for our receiver and slot, we are going to do what we did last year, which is a simple bubble screen off of it, where the receiver blocks the number one player or the most dangerous man, and the slot runs a little Nike swoosh. I'll go over this in more detail, but we're going to put another change onto it, where Instead of running the bubble, we may have the slot come up and block and the receiver slip underneath, which is called a tunnel. So we're going to have two possible RPOs off of this. Our jet back leaves on the snap of the ball, 
instead of leaving early, gets the ball from the quarterback in an overhand chop. We'll go over this more. He's going to sprint as if he's taking the ball wide, and then he's going to look for one of two things. Can he get to the corner, or can he cut it up? I'll go over that in more detail later. The quarterback, after handing off the ball, will sprint out to the left. Now, here's the other changes that we're potentially going to make this year. We're going to put another play on this where the Jet, instead of getting the handoff, comes in front of the quarterback and leads up as a blocker, and the quarterback keeps the ball and follows the Jet. We'll call that East 88 reach follow, or maybe we'll call it lead. Regardless, I'll go over that in more detail in a later video, but what I want you to see is that this is the basic play that we're going to start off running. East 88 reach. We're going to have all these positions filled. Defensive players will also have some of these spots. And what we're trying to do with this play is we're trying to outflank the defense, either running wide or running up in the seam, by putting more players over here than they have. This is an outside power play. Now, take a look at the individual videos I'm sending you for your individual positions.